Hey y'all, welcome back to the Daily AMG, and today I'm going to be telling you about five books that are releasing this Tuesday, January 8th, that I have on my radar, and I thought that they ought to be on your radar as well. And the first one is The Paragon Hotel by Lindsay Fay. This follows a girl, I, I'm not certain of her age, I believe she may be young adult, maybe 18, 19 years old. It is... Prohibition era, New York City, so you're in the 20s. She gets shot. She has um, she has been involved in a drug deal that has gone bad, and so she books it to Portland, where she takes refuge in an all-black hotel, and she is a white girl who just comes in and, they, and takes refuge there, and then there are some racial tensions centered around the hotel. It just sounds outstanding. I'm sure it'll be so harrowing. It sounds a lot like the kitchen house. I love the kitchen house, so it gives me those kinds of vibes. So I definitely want to check it out. And of course, you're talking about 1920 New York City, so you know that ticks some boxes for me. The second book is also historical fiction, and that is The Only Woman in the Room by Marie Benedict a fictionalized account of an actual event and this is it follows Hedy Lamarr who I'm sure if you are a classic Hollywood fan as much as I am you know that she was a major actress she fleed the Nazis she came to America changed her last name became a world famous world renowned actress and she was also a scientist she also invented things and so it's just incredible I cannot wait to read this I know it is fictionalized account of her life but I really want to read this and I want to check out some biographies some actual non-fiction on Hedy Lamarr. Next up is She Lies in Wait by Gaitha Lodge. I think this says six friends one killer who do you trust? A girl went missing 30 years ago. Her body has now been found, so her cold case has now been reopened. And this is actually the first in a series. It's going to follow the detective that is working this case, or if it's going to follow this case, or this this town. I'm not certain, but that sounds fantastic. And if you're doing the Buzz Wordathon, lies, liar, lying, just that in general <laughs> is the buzzword for this go rounds, this round of Buzz Wordathon which is in a few weeks, but I thought well, this would be a great one to read. It has lies in the title. So number four in that same thriller vein is An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pekinen. They wrote The Wife Between Us, which I only gave one and a half, two stars to. I thought it was so overdone. We are, if you are a psychological domestic thriller fan, you had read that story a thousand times. But this one that they have come out with is very interesting. This is about a woman who signs up for a anonymous study on ethics and morality. And she goes through these case studies. And then I, it gets to a point where she thinks, this is not what I've signed up for. And so I, that's really all I want to know because that just sounds so intriguing to me. So I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. I'm like a T-Rex over here. Okay, so that sounds incredible to me. And I really hope that it makes up for how awful I thought the wife between us was. And then the last one that I have here is In Paris With You. And this is by Clementine Bouvet. And it is translated by Sam Taylor. So this is actually a best-selling novel from France that has been translated into English. And it is supposed to be like a sweeping love story like you've never seen before kind of thing. It almost gives me One Day in December vibes. So that's why I really, really am gravitating towards it. This is having that same kind of hype around it. So I'm really excited to read that. And plus, I mean, it takes place in Paris. So why wouldn't you want to read a love story that takes place in Paris, especially if it's coined something that you've not maybe necessarily read before. So I'm really excited for that. I kind of hope it's like a love story that doesn't go right because I like that for some reason. So those are five books that I am looking forward to picking up this Tuesday, January 8th. And let me know in the comments below if you have any of these on TBR or if you picked up 
Anonymous Girl in your Book of the Month box. I so wish I had of because I didn't even read the synopsis. I was just like, oh, I didn't like The Wife Between Us. So I don't really care to read what you count with next. And then I saw a lot of people putting this on their top anticipated books for January. And so now I really kind of regret that. But I'm, I'll am i probably still pick it up in some juncture. I may listen to it. So, yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, y'all.